Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well. As you know, one of the trickiest skills for guitarists to learn is to move between chords smoothly. And I found over my years playing guitar, it's even more so something that we should master as quickly as possible when uh, learning math rock and associated styles, especially when you consider, you know, some of the chords that we find there. So today I'll teach you an exercise that I wish I had all of those years ago when I was trying to master moving between chords smoothly. So the whole idea is based around a C major scale based on the A string and we're going to build chords from each one of those scale notes. And there's a good few reasons for this. One, we can learn hopefully some new chords here. Secondly, we can see that these are chords that we could apply to any other key that we're playing in. And lastly, it will show you the interaction of the chords as we go through each note of the C major scale. So let me teach you the chords. So the first chord is going to be a C major nine shape. And I've put the fingering below each chart so you can see where you should be putting your fingers on the fretboard. So hopefully that will help you out. Our next chord is going to be a D minor nine. And then we're going to move to the next scale degree, which is an E, and this is going to be an E minor seven. Do you like that chord shape? And then for our F major chord here, I'd like to use this uh, voicing of an F major seven chord. It sounds quite nice. We're going to put two chords for our F major chord here, the fourth scale degree, because I find that um, the fourth and the sixth chord in a key in math rock a lot of the time is um, just used, utilized quite a lot. So I want to teach you some chords that you can use for that shape. So another one, we're going to go back to that. We can also use that F major nine shape there too. And then for our fifth degree, we're going to have a G7 chord probably learned that one already. Nice dominant chord there. And for our A minor chord, we're going to have an A minor 9. And here, as I said, it's the sixth degree. There's many other variations we could use here. You know, that seven shape again, or the 9, or we could even voice the 7 this way. But for this one, we're going to go two chord shapes, A minor 9, and then A minor seven. And then we've got our B minor seven flat five, built from the seventh degree of the scale. That nice tense half diminished sound. And then we're going to release that tension at the end of our exercise back to the C major seven chord here. So I'll just play through those chords one last time for you. Take your time with those, of course, but as you can see, they get your fingers moving in lots of different ways. And that's why I find it's a, a great exercise that you could practice, let's say for just 10 minutes every single day, just moving between these chords. So what I like to do is just find a block of time, like before I've got 10 minutes before I start work, let's say. Yeah, if I find if you dedicate just 10 minutes a day, block off a segment of time, make sure you're doing that, let's say Monday to Friday, and you'll see improvements really, really quickly. So you might be wondering, well, what are some ways that I can apply some strumming patterns? What are some exercises I can use um, to go through these chords? And that's exactly what we'll look at now. I want to give you two different patterns that you can use, an easier one and a slightly more challenging one. So these I find are just gonna be hopefully great use for you. So the first one, we're just simply, I want you to set a metronome to just four, four, and I want you to strum on each bo uh, each, bo <laughs> each beat of that metronome. So like just one, two, three, four. And you can even just do all this just down strokes if you wanted to. The idea is just practicing getting your digits moving on the fretboard here. So for example, if I was to demonstrate that for you quickly, we're going to go just one, two, three, four, and then 
move to the next chord. And the idea is we're trying to get as smoothly as possible moving between these shapes. If you're up for it, with those two chords on the four and the six, you can try and do on, you know, uh, separate that bar of four, four into two beats. So one, two, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like so. And for a slightly more challenging strumming pattern, um, as this is more of a math rock oriented, ch oriented cha uh, channel, let's say, um, we can do a really common time signature of 5-8. And one, um, one way we can play in our time signatures is just to use a repeating uh, kind of strumming pattern, a repeating uh, rhythmic pattern, let's say. And one of the most common ones in 5-8, I'm, I'm sure you're all familiar with the Mission Impossible uh, long, long, short, short pattern. that one. So we can practice using that strumming pattern there to go through this pattern. If you're up for it there, you can try and do the, the long, 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 short, short, like that. I just like repeating that twice. It sounds satisfying to myself. And then. Do the same here. Now that you have an exercise that you can practice on a daily basis, the next thing you might be wondering is, well, how can I learn all of these chords across the neck? Are there any chords I'm missing? And uh, luckily for you, I have a math rock chords fund fundamental workshop that covers all of the basics of chords, some strumming patterns. Um, there's also a few real life example chord progressions that I'll teach you in there that you can practice. And in the last segment of that workshop, I teach you a bunch of functional uh, strumming patterns and chord progressions that are very useful for math rock and associated styles. So if you're interested in that, uh, there's a link for that down below in the description. Anyway, happy practicing. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really hoping you're going to find this useful. Uh, please leave any comments that you have below, any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.